Welcome to our review on empirical formula. So the first thing we really need to know is what on earth we're talking about when we refer to this phrase empirical formula. And quite simply, an empirical formula is going to show us the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of each element that are present in a compound. So when you get asked to calculate the empirical formula, you could get a question like the one here. The chemical formula for butane is C4H10. Calculate its empirical formula. So the first step is we need to find the highest common factor. And if we have a look at it, carbon is obviously 4, hydrogen is 10. So the highest common factor of 4 and 10 is 2. Hopefully we know that from our maths lessons. What we then do is we're going to divide the actual numbers in the formula by the highest common factor. So for carbon, it's 4. So 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. And hydrogen, 10 divided by 2 gives us 5. And then those are the numbers we're going to write after our particular elements. So when we're writing the empirical formula, it would be C2H5. A different style of question to work out your empirical formula could be by using what's called a space filling model. So that's what you can see on the right there. That's a space filling model. Now, they could ask you to work out the empirical formula for one of these. And the way that you do that is first step, you just need to count up how many of each element are present. So if you look at the actual diagram there, we've got two carbons, two oxygens and four hydrogens. Next thing, we divide by the highest common factor. So the highest common factor of four and two is quite obviously two, I would hope. Then you divide by the highest common factor there. So carbon two divided by two gives us one. Oxygen two divided by two is one again. And then our hydrogen four divided by two gives us two. All you then do is write down the actual symbols for each element and put the numbers after them. So CH2 O will be our empirical formula in this case. Hopefully at the end of this video, you now know what empirical formula actually is, and you can work it out either from being given the actual written formula or from a space filling model.